So today we're going to talk about HVAC, right? Um, but first of all, we'd like to thank everybody who's here for coming to be our true presentation. So uh, we're talking about an HVAC system, and I'd like to say the work that I've done before is I've done uh, at least 100 hours of research and made a prototype of the physical model of it. So I'm familiar, we are quite familiar with this, this program. We want to take this expert experience and, and direct it towards you, Dr. Hendrigan, and towards all future process control students, recognizing the value it has in process control. Okay, so our problem is that we were trying to design a system to control different set points in different rooms um, to, in order to control the temperature in each of these rooms. And how we do that is that we have a certain amount of air coming in, and uh, the, the different rooms have a vent cover over each of them, and we can proportionally open and close the, the vents at different amounts so we can control the lift of each device, as seen here on these pictures. So in order to model the temperature changes in different rooms, we solved material and energy balances using first principles and, uh, and implemented this, the subsequent model into our, our simulation packages. And here, we took those modeling, uh, that modeling stuff, some threw it into Simulink to start, and we decided that the rooms would be affecting each other, so we put in some, um, the vents would be affecting each other, flow rates, how the lifts would be battling each other. So we made a Simulink and had them interacting and found that they're actually fighting each other. So we needed to come up with a better model for this system. We also included uh, disturbances uh, via formulas, and so we can have, um, sorry, so we can uh, simulate disturbances throughout the day. Yes. Well, there's a second iteration of our controller scheme it utilizes one PID controller instead of two and one switch controller or bang bang controller. The PID controller tracks the set point of one of the rooms and so that room reaches its set point preferentially. Thereafter the, the bang bang controller allows the second room to, to reach its set point while turning on and off simultaneously. This model worked well but it, and it tracked our set points as you can see but we couldn't implement disturbances and, and still reach the same, same results. So after some collaboration we decided that the best course of action would be to go to model predictive control. Um, so with some assistance from you, Dr. Henningren, we were able to start that. We originally designed two rooms with that, um, and it was successful, and we decided that we wanted to challenge ourselves a little bit more, so we decided to upgrade to four rooms, throw in some conduction between each of the rooms, some disturbances with losing heat throughout the day, um, and we tried two different styles. One was to do lifts where AP monitor would control the lifts and two was to design our own control system for the lifts. The first one when we had AP monitor control the lifts it never really reached its set point. We're not sure exactly why. If we had more time we might go investigate that. But having implemented our own control system with the different temperatures and set points you can see from the graph here on um, our presentation that we were able to maintain to reach a set point and maintain it throughout um, the given time that we had with the potential of, of increasing to up to 100 or plus rooms if needed. So the, the model is robust, it works for different areas, and it reaches its set points. So we're pleased to recommend it to track temperature differences and temperature set point differences in different rooms in any given facility. Thank you.